Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to create the logout form. So if you have followed the previous video, I have created the sign up form and the login form. But a logout form I had not created because it's just a logic to log out from the website. So for creating the logout logic, we have to use sessions. In this video, we will at first discuss about session and then we will create the logout form. Session is a way of temporarily storing data and making data accessible across all the website pages. For example, if I want to log in to this website and then I want to display welcome the username, right? For example, if your name is David, then here it will show welcome David if David is the username. So wherever I go, whichever link I click, I want to store some data and display it. But how I will store data without using the server? For that, I have to use session. Session will create a temporary file that store various session variables and their values. For example, if I want to store the username after logging in, I will store the username in a variable called name which will be a global variable in the session and this name will be destroyed when we close the website that is when we log out from the website as you can see i can easily go into the home that is welcome this page welcome.php but i have not logged in till yet but how can i go to this welcome.php page without logging in that is wrong for doing that, we have to create the logout logic and also the login logic so that only when the user logs in, a session starts and the variables get stored and we display the variables here. But when we log out, we cannot re-enter this welcome.php page until and unless we log in again. So let's start coding. I am in my login.php page. And if you remember, in the input field, we can enter either username or email. In this input field, we can enter either username or email. So the PHP file does not know, that is the session does not know whether the value we enter here is the username or email. For that, at first, we have to extract the username. As we can see, after we verify the passwords are same, we have to take a variable dollar sql and in this variable i will store a query where i will select the username from the user's table where the username column of this table matches the username value in this variable which is stored in this variable either the username matches with this username or the email column matches with this username right because we can either enter a username or an email so this query will extract the username of that particular row if it exists or if it matches after that we will query the database for that we will use the function mysqli query function which will send this query to the database and to fetch the array that is the row which contains this username we will use mysqli fetch array mysqli fetch array will fetch the array which contains the row which contains the username okay so if we want to extract the username we have to extract the username from this variable r which contains the array My, this mysqli fetch array is a php function which will extract the rows in the form of an array and this row which will be extracted and stored in dollar r will contain the username field now to start the session at first we have to start the session okay so acss ion session start session start is the function or php function which will start the session after that we will take the global variable dollar session so dollar session is the global php variable which will store the value which will be accessible across all the pages if we store the name after logging in we can access the name from any page from this index.php page from this home page from any page of this website so dollar session we are using and 
then inside that we will take a variable name suppose i name it name and then we will store the username into this global variable to access it from any page now how to extract the username from this array dollar r within angle brackets or within square brackets the username column user name in the database table the column name is username so this username field will be extracted from the result resulted array and it will be stored in the global variable name which will be stored in the global session variable to access it from any page in this website let's save it after that we will go to the welcome.php page to access the global variable for that at first we have to start the session at the top session start so we started the session and beside the welcome we will give the global variable name so inside php tags we will echo dollar session name so whatever value will be stored inside this name variable in the session will be displayed here fine now let's see the output let's refresh it suppose we enter the login details d and d and i am logging in you can see it is showing me welcome d so d is the username and that's why it is showing d but what if i log in using the email so i log in using d at gmail.com and password d and then i click on login and it is also showing me the username even when we have entered the email it's still extracting the username and displaying it fine but we have not created the logout logic so let's create the logout logic i'm going to the logout.php file and let's start the session session start after that we will use the function session destroy to destroy the session as soon as the session gets destroyed the variables it was carrying the naming will be destroyed so the global session variable will be destroyed and it will be no more accessible so let's save it and it will redirect to index.php page as you can see header location index.php let's see i am logging in again d d and login and now i am clicking on logout so logout it's taking me to the index.php page but if i click on home again it's taking me to welcome.php which is showing me some error why because this name variable is no more available because the session variable is destroyed but it should not give us access to this welcome.php because we have logged out and this session variable is not available and it should not allow us to come to this welcome.php page so for that go to welcome.php and here we have to give a condition that if is set dollar session name that is if this name value is available name value exists name is the global session variable if it exists if it doesn't exist for that we have to give not so if it doesn't exist then we will redirect to login.php page so it will re redirect us to login.php page if the session variable value does not exist that's why i have given not sign here exclamation sign here it implies that if it's false that then it will redirect us to the login.php page and it will not allow us to go to this welcome.php page save it similarly i don't want it to get the access of sign up
let's check the output so now i am trying to access this home but it's redirecting me to login.php it's not redirecting me to welcome.php because the name variable which is the global session variable does not exist and this is the logic for it if not is set dollar session name then location login.php let's log in again now after i have logged in if i click on sign up again it's taking me to sign up for and if i click on login again it's taking me to the login form but it should not take me to login form again because i have already logged in so to correct that i will just copy this if statement and i will paste it in sign up form at the top i have to start the session and here i will paste it and i will just change this condition a little bit if the name variable is available that is if is set dollar session name that is if the name value exist that means the user has logged in the user is in session so it will not redirect me to this sign up page again it will better redirect me to welcome.php because once we log in it's no use of signing up again right so it will redirect us to welcome.php and before that we have to start session session start similarly i will copy this and i will also paste it in login form because once i log in i don't want the login form again to show up so i just copy the whole thing and i will copy it to the login form at the top okay at the first very first it will check if the session is uh, available and the name variable in the session is available or not if it's available it will no longer show us the login form it will take us to the welcome.php page let's save it now let's log in again so we are in the login uh, we have already logged in if you remember let's see by clicking on sign up form so i have clicked on sign up form but it's not redirecting me to sign up form it's redirecting me to welcome.php and when i click on login it's not redirecting me to login again it's just keeping me in this welcome.php page so i am logging out now i am logging out as i log out i cannot access the home page again the home does not redirect to welcome.php it's showing me the login form because it's telling the user that wait you have not logged in so at first fill the login form and then only you will be allowed to log in and access the welcome.php file so finally for a recap i will sign in to the website the name i will give the name lucy email email l at gmail dot com password i will just give l and retype password i will give l then i will sign up now i want to log in with that details so i am logging in lucy and the password is l login as you can see it's showing welcome lucy so this is the welcome dot php page after logging in now if i click on sign up it will not show us the sign up form and it will not show us the login form i can log out if i click on log out i cannot go to the home page by clicking on home it will redirect me to the login form so everything is all right the navigation buttons are working the login sign up and log out logics are all done so yeah guys that's it for today if you like this video like share and subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends thanks for watching my video have a nice day